Welcome to 100 Huntley Street, life-changing television with your host Reynolds and Kathy Mays. My guest today is Robin Lee Hatcher. She resides in Boise, Idaho, and she has written 25 historical romance novels for the American Booksellers Association. And this is her first hardback contemporary novel for the Christian market. It's entitled The Forgiving Hour, and we're going to be looking closely at this. Also, her latest entitled Whispers from Yesterday. Please welcome to 100 Huntley Street, Robin Lee Hatcher. Welcome, Robin. Hi. Uh, this is my first time talking to a Christian romance novelist. This is going to be exciting. The other woman came back into my life actually at a Christian conference. And she sat down at a table I was at. And I looked at her face, and I looked at her name tag, and I looked at her face, and I looked at her name tag, and I kept feeling like I should know this woman. And all of a sudden, I realized who she was. And I went home that night. Of course, all day at the conference, I was didn't, can't confess to seeing or paying attention to much that was going on, other than always knowing where she was seated. And I relived all that painful summer of the affair. And it was like experiencing every bit of the pain over again. And I went home that night, and I knew she had come to that table knowing who I was. That there wasn't a shadow of a doubt to me that she had known, and that she'd come for a reason. And so I kept asking God, why? Why was she there? And um, about 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, he spoke to my heart, and he said, because she needs to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And I said, I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgive everybody. Everything is fine, fine, fine. <laughs> and he said, no, she needs you to tell her you forgive her. And uh, one of the scenes that did show up in the book was I stood up and I raised my fist toward God and I said, you're God, you tell her. Hmm. Um, but of course, that is not what he had in mind. So I sought her out the next morning at the conference, and I knelt down beside her chair, and I said, I know who you are, and I forgive you. And our lives did not continue to cross. And I don't know what that forgiveness meant for her, but I know what it meant for me. And it set me free forever. The story of Lazarus, as was told in the Bible, did God bring that specific story to your life? Yes, absolutely. This, this was a teaching that God gave me. Can you share with our viewers that? Because I know so many of us can relate to that. The, the passage, and I can't say that it happened that night. Um, I think it happened just before, so that then it was a, was a memory that I had mm -hmm. as this was occurring. Is that in the story of Lazarus, Jesus raises him from the dead. But then he commands the people who are watching and all in awe. He says, unbind him from the grave clothes and, and set him free. And the lesson I had was that Christ was risen from the dead. When I was saved, I was raised a new person. We have all these grave clothes hanging on to us that we drag around, and some of them are pretty putrid and mm -hmm. smell pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And we are not instantly perfect, healed people. It's a, it's a lifetime of sanctification. It's an instant of salvation. But it's a lifetime of being renewed and changed. And it showed me that not only do we need to be aware that we have all these grave clothes hanging on us, but as Christians, we are commanded to unbind our brethren from the grave clothes that are clinging to them. That's one of our jobs, is to reach out and help them be unbound. Robin, this has been so good. I encourage any of you, uh, well, anyone, The Forgiving Hour, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. It's a story of infidelity, bitterness, forgiveness, and the power of God's grace.